Winter in a forest probably doesn't strike you as a very sexy time of year. You know, it's cold, wet, the days are short, not a lot of sunlight, which means photosynthesizing is tough. So most plants take this time to chill and wait for the long days of summer when reproducing is easier. You know, conifers need a warm summer breeze to disperse their pollen, and deciduous plants and trees create flowers to attract pollinators that fertilize them as they move from one to the other. So in the winter, a forest can often look pretty dull and boring, but there's one type of plant here that takes these cold, quiet days to spice things up and reproduce, mosses. See, mosses are some of the oldest types of plants alive today, having evolved from aquatic algae, and they still rely very heavily on water to function. They love it. So this leafy green part here is a moss in its gametophyte form, which can not only photosynthesize year round, but has both male and female sexual organs. And in order to fertilize the egg, the spermatozoid needs to travel around from the male organ through the water that flows all here to the female organ, which then creates a sporophyte like this little red cap here, which is gonna release spores in the spring that land nearby to grow and form another gametophyte moss. And all of this is much easier to do during these cold, wet, rainy months of winter when there's a lot of water present. So probably not my ideal time or climate to be getting busy, but hey, different strokes are different folks. More power to them.